What do you love? It's a simple question. I have been uh, reading a devotional by Tim Keller, Making Sense of God. And in it, he, he goes about discussing the teachings of St. Augustine. It, one of the interesting things is, is Augustine said that we are shaped not so much by our, our thoughts, our beliefs, or our actions, but by what we love. Honesty might be loving your neighbor more than yourself. You might claim to believe in equity and equality, but if your business decisions exploit people, then your love shows differently. What you love is what controls your actions most of the time. It, and it reminded me of a passage from Matthew 22, verses 36 through 40. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. The disorder of our lives, of, of our loves in our life, contributes to to, to the disorder and unhappiness that we feel. If, if you love work more than your family, that's disordering of loves. And it's going to cause a problem. It causes friction. It could actually cause ruin of your family. If you love money, it's greater than your love for people. Your loves are in disorder, and it's going to cause exploitation of employees, or neighbors, or others, because you love money over people. What do you love? What is the order of those loves? Is it obvious to others? Or are you trying to hide it? Generally, it's going to show up. Think about it. What do you love? And how is it driving your actions? I'm Jim Creel, Jr., Associate Pastor at First Methodist Church of Myrtle Beach. We'd love to have you join us on Sunday. Our traditional and our contemporary worship service are both on Sunday mornings at 10. Or you can join us online. But however you choose to worship, we, we want to ask you, follow Jesus and share him with others. Have a great day.